we start the video i just want to really apologize to you guys for the quality of this video i know that the sound quality and the video quality is not going to be like what you guys are used to um so i'm really sorry for that you guys are gonna be able to maybe get it to 720p i hope at least but don't click out just yet because this video is going to be jam-packed with some real gems um some really valuable information that you guys are gonna need in order to start your business and really boss up and become that nurse entrepreneur that you guys want to become so please bear with me I know the video quality is not up to par it's not what you guys are used to seeing but I promise you guys that you guys will not regret watching this video and we are live <laughs> finally, finally. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up guys and welcome back to my channel nursing with key for those of you who are already part of the family for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kiara Selena I'm a licensed practical nurse. I mainly make nursing related videos, but we also do a bit of beauty and hair. So for today's video, today's video is for all of you nurses out there who just want to boss up for 2020, okay? Yes. <laughs> for all of you who just want to boss up, I have Letitia Ann here. If you guys have not seen her channel, make sure you guys go check her out. I'll leave all her info down below. She is a nurse entrepreneur and she's just going to basically tell us how to get to the money, how to get to that bag this year. Yes, we are about to get to this money in 2020. <laughs> All right, Letitia, so can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, where you're from, your journey, all of that? Well, okay, I'll start with who I am. So what's up, y'all? My name is Letitia Ann. I am an LPN and I am collaborating at a medical spa. I am also an owner of a training beauty facility where we um I train basically people in the services that I do at the medical spa. Um, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Um, the name is Latasha Ann, where I take you guys on my day as an aesthetic nurse and that week as a boss owner, and basically I take you guys on the journey. So that's pretty much who I am. <laughs> Awesome. So can you tell us like how long you've been an LPN for and like when you like got this idea to start your business? Okay, so I've been an LPN um, going on four years in October. So the four years in October coming up, I'll be an LPN for four years. Um, And so, okay, long story short, y'all, because I'm long-winded, I'll talk to y'all all day. <laughs> but long story short, I just remember, okay, so I was pregnant. And I remember being in the restroom crying. This is when I was still a CNA. Mm -hmm. And I just remember being in the restroom crying, like, I don't want to be here. I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward some time later, um, I had my son. And I was like, I got to do something right now that's going to, you know, make more money, bring more money in. So I was mm -hmm. like, let me just go ahead and sign up to nursing school. Because prior to getting pregnant, and I'm an open book, I actually was a dancer in Atlanta. So when I was dancing in Atlanta, my boyfriend had followed me down there and I had ended up getting pregnant. So of course I had to stop dancing because y'all don't want to see no pregnant stripper. <laughs> so um, anyways, I said all that to say, I was making a certain amount of money. So to come back to making like, I'm not making really that much. So I had to, I was like, how am I going to make money um, and live the life that I want to live with the child? So I was like, I need to just go ahead and finish nursing school. Um, so I pretty much had like all the credits and stuff that I needed before I just decided to uproot and go dance in Atlanta. And it really only took me like a year to get the LPN program done. Mm -hmm. So I got my LPN license. I'm making more money, girl. And I'm making more money. I'm making more money. Like I think I made a good amount of money, but I still wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. I was still in the bathroom. I was still crying. I still was like, what in the actual F? Because I was making such, I was making RM mm -hmm. um, from the hours I was putting in. And then I was like, okay, so clearly something's not right here. So I was like, okay, I need to become my own boss because I can't see myself working for nobody my entire life. Girl, so preach. I, started, you know, huh? I said, preach, girl. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, like, my, I would literally be miserable talking to my boyfriend, like, like, and it was, it wasn't necessarily doing the nursing. Don't get me wrong. I love nursing, but it was the hours. Mm -hmm. Like my son, me missing stuff because, you know, I have to be there 12 hours a day. Be missing my son first Christmas and stuff. I was like, this ain't for me. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically I started researching stuff, researching stuff. And then I came across something called microblading. I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah. With the needles, the, the, the blood. I've seen it. Well, no, that's my. 
Oh, okay. Microneedling is the eyebrow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I came across microneedling and I mean microblading, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, so you don't have to be an esthetician because I thought you had to be an esthetician to do this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So whatever, I took that class, I took the last class, and just on top of that, I just started taking more and more classes. Every time I would get paid, girl, I was booking, I was paying to go fly somewhere to learn this class and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and then eventually by that time, uh, it's always so another story, but eventually by that time I had so many trainings and so many classes mm -hmm. and I ended up collaborating with this lady at a man's spa, which is a whole nother story on how I hooked up with my nurse practitioner. And, you know, one day she introduced me, she was like, okay, this is our aesthetic nurse. And I was like, dang, I am an aesthetic nurse. Like it never clicked to me until she introduced to me that I was an aesthetic nurse. Yeah. I was a nurse going aesthetic, so. That's the long story short okay. of how that became. <laughs> so, like, on average, like, if, let's say somebody wanted to start, um, like, a business like yours, on average, how much does it cost for, like, these, like, cl these classes, these extra classes that you took? So, I mean, it can, you can find a last class for $500. Mm -hmm what you want to offer right so and you have to be careful because if you just you have to look at your state regulations your state laws yeah like in the state that i am in lpns can do botox lpns can do anything or mm -hmm. in some states it's not like that mm -hmm. so um i would say look at what you want to offer but make sure it's under your state regu regulations and mm -hmm. then just start searching for those classes on google and stuff because it can range from 500 to a hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. It just all depends on what exactly you want to offer. But I always say start small and then work your way up. Mm -hmm. So what services, I'm just out of curiosity, what services do you offer at your at your clinic, at your beauty spa, Girl, med spa? I offer so many services. I <laughs> some level. So let's start. I, I do body contouring. So that's like laser lipo, lipo cavitation, foot detox, these things, sauna detox bag. Um, Ooh, girl, I don't even know what none of those stuff are. So that's just the body contour. And when it comes to permanent makeup, I okay. offer microbladed, microshading, permanent moles, um, permanent eyeliners. Oh my um, god, that's a thing? Permanent moles? Girl, I got one right here. I did one on myself. Can you see it? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning stuff today. Whoa. Yeah, that's a thing. Listen, I learn something new every day. Like, I'll be like, wow, you can do that. Like, and it's, I just be so amazed every day. <laughs> but, so, that's the permanent makeup I offer. Then when it comes to, I offer, like, lashes. And then when it comes to, like, facial services, facials, hydrofacials, dermal planning, microneedling, um, chemical peels, um, girl, and, I offer so much stuff for real. I have a list because I forget sometimes everything I offer. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just pass out my flyer like, come see me. Yeah. <laughs> so if if someone was starting their own business and they like, okay, if you could go back to like your like beginner entrepreneur self, what are like the the main like five things that you would like um that you would encourage yourself to do? Like five certifications that you would encourage yourself to do in order to start your business. Well, see, that's the thing. My biggest mistake is trying to hurry up and get out of the nursing home. I did too much at once. So, okay. honestly, starting out, if you're... Because, okay, look at it like this, right? A lot of people think, oh, an LPN can't own a medical spa. LPN can be partner at the medical spa, mm -hmm. but they can, but it's just a money thing. Mm -hmm. So, just think of it like you're not... Of course, of course, if you got a lot of money, take all the certifications you want. But mm -hmm. don't be like me and be so thirsty every time you get paid. You spending thousands on machines and stuff like this to the point mm -hmm. you like, mm hmm. So the five things I would say, the number one thing is I would say have a good work-life balance. Mm -hmm. Taking care of yourself is just as important as starting your business. I know you're eager, but really take care of um, yourself and work your way up. The second thing that I would say is you can um, do multiple things, but you can only be a master of few. So you yeah. need to master something before just trying to... Oh, okay. <laughs> so you need to master something before just trying to add so many services. Yeah. Um, so I know you want to know like what certificates I would tell people to start out with, but honestly, it's so much aesthetic yeah. stuff out there. I would just tell you to just research and see what you're interested in because you might just be interested in being doing facials mm. and you might just be the facial queen. There's literally 50 different types of facials you can offer. 
Mm -hmm. There's literally so many different type of body contour services you can offer. There's so many type of skin services you can offer. Like, I would just say research what you're really in love with. If you're mm -hmm. really in love with the body, look into body contour services and stuff that you can do with the body. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't want to give you a specific number of certificates yeah. to get. Just look at what you're really interested in and master that. Mm -hmm. Basically is what I would say. Okay. okay and as an lpn like if you want to open a med spa are you able to like solely do it by yourself or are you like partnered with like an np or like a doctor or is it just like all you so it basically goes into your state law well, again yeah. if your state says that you can do filler and botox without a collaborative md of course you can but my state however i need a collaborative md i mean or a nurse practitioner mm -hmm. um so you're going to have to, you know, collaborate or become partners with somebody in order to do that. Mm -hmm. However, you're just going to have to figure out from your state law. But um, honestly, I would say I think most states are going to need a collaborative um, partner. Mm -hmm. And some states, they don't have to physically be there. Some states, they do have to be there. In my state, they do have to be there. But um, just go out and... So the next question people typically ask me is, how do you get somebody to collaborate with yeah. you? Yeah. Um, I found my first collaborative doctor. I just wrote something up on Indeed. Literally, like I was like, I'm looking for a um, medical director because that's what you call them in a nursing home, mm -hmm. a medical director. But I had ended up talking to this man. Um, and be polite. That's another thing, right? Because there's so many people that's going to give you game just for the simple fact you're being polite. Like I talked to this man. He's like the collaborative MD for like the biggest med spots in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And he had called me to get a job. But he was like, you haven't worded wrong, sweetie, because if you want a um, medical doctor to come on, you can't say, because um, you're going to have to pay them, mm -hmm. you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. So say you're looking for a collaborative MD, and I found one through MD, but also I found some by a doctor I used to work with at the nursing home. Mm -hmm. Like, you just have to talk to people, let them know what you're doing, because you know what, believe it or not, doctors be willing to not work as many hours, too. Yeah. So any way that they can make more money, especially without them being there, they're going to be like, okay, so tell me more. Yeah. But just make sure you have your P's and Q's down when you come at them and what you going to offer and this and that. Mm -hmm. And if you had to um, give somebody, I know like social media probably plays a big part in it, but if you had to give somebody advice on, because obviously you have to build your clientele in order for your, your business to be successful. So like, what are some tips that you have like for that? Okay, so... One of the number one things I would say is master what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like one of my biggest mistakes is I offered so much people didn't know what to come to me for. Mm -hmm. So I just and sorry guys, I don't know where to look. <laughs> I'm recording this video. So I don't know okay. where to look. I'm just looking back and forth. But um, I would definitely say master what you're doing, practice at what you're doing, and then promote it. So say you go learn how to do microblading, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what I teach in my classes. Microblade is a permanent service. A lot of people, like your family members, are probably going to be scared to just get that service. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know if a lot of you have Facebook, but what I did was, you know how in Facebook they have the little groups like, mm -hmm. um, I'm in the Cincinnati area, so it'll be Cincinnati, and then you know how it's a surrounding neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, went, I physically went in and I just took a picture of Microblade and I said, um, well-trained artists, blah, 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 looking for models, da, da, da. I did, like, my first 10 people for free. Okay. But that helped me build a portfolio. That helped me perfect my skill. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I was, like, 145. And then the price went up. And then eventually got to 500. Mm -hmm. So I would say promote on um, Facebook. Get a clientele. Get a portfolio. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get a portfolio. And then start bringing people in. Some people use Groupon as a promotional tool to mm -hmm. bring customers in. But Groupon will take 50 of your money yeah. um and i use facebook promotion and ig promotion for real that's mm -hmm. like all the promotion i do okay and word of mouth mm -hmm. once you build that clientele mm -hmm. and another question some people would probably have is like on like how long approximately did it take you for you to like really build your business and for it to like really start blowing up did you like start at home or did you Right? Well, there's no limit, right? The sky's the limit. But I mean, like, how right. long? How long did it take for you to like actually start making like like a good amount of like a good amount of money? Um, I would say 
Like, when did you get shocked? Like, when were you shocked? And you were like, damn, you're like, you so know, I like. The first time I was shocked was, so my business particularly has been open for two two years. Okay. Um, I think I was shocked last year when I was in my training class and I had 15 students in one of my classes and each of those students paid me $1,250. Girl! <laughs> out here just manifesting girl but be better with money than i am because i i was not doing money so i'm learning like girl because <laughs> uh, i can't tell you where that 15 bands went to this day but that's what happens when you, you yeah. know when you start making a certain type of money you're like oh but yeah i mean i'm calm now so um i think it took me like a year but it i've seen some people grow their business way quicker yeah and i think it's because honestly they focus on one thing just like when i tell my lash artists because some people be like oh i'm just coming to lash class because it's the cheapest class that i offer but if you're charging 120 dollars for one classic set 140 for a, um you know a volume and i know some of y'all might not know that but it's like level to lash mm-hmm. if you're charging 120 and you get it for people that day that's what eight nine hundred dollars so i mean even if like that's why i say master it even whatever you're doing master it and build that clientele before you know it you're literally going to look up and be like wow i really just made eight hundred dollars today and Mm -hmm. i only been here five hours you know you're going to look up eventually and be like wow yeah um it's an investment yeah it's an investment it really in the beginning is very very much so an investment, especially if you don't have loans and you're doing it out of your pocket and your paychecks, you know. Mm. For a long time, I was broke, you know. Mm. <laughs> and I had to ask my boyfriend for money, my mom for money and stuff. But eventually, it pays off. It's worth so it. So you just got to know what you want to sacrifice. Do you want to sacrifice a few years for your business or do you want to sacrifice the rest of your life to make somebody else dream come true? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's amazing. Girl, I'm trying to be like you. I'm about, to, I'm about to take these extra classes because my mom is an esthetician and she's a hairdresser. She's owned her own business for like since before I was born. Oh, girl, you in the lobby. Yeah, so I'm I'm trying to and like she has like the extra space in the back of the store. So I'm about to like try to you know get these classes done so I can start making Go the money. Classes, yes. Do them classes. Make sure they're within your state. And I heard where you at? They charge you like one fifty for a class. I was like, well, I need to go up the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been telling me to like look into it, so I think I'm I'm really gonna start doing it because I've I've always liked aesthetics. Like I grew up around it because of my mom, so I've always liked beauty and hair and and, right. and those things too. So yeah, and I and I don't want to work for people either, girl. I haven't even been a nurse for that long, and I'm already bored of the bedside. Like I'm tired of it. <laughs> But you were an A before, right? Yeah. So I was an A since I was 15. I feel like that's why I was already drained of mm-hmm. it. So, but this is not to like, if you love bed, I have friends that love bedside. Yeah, me too. This is not to, everybody don't want to be a business owner, okay? Mm-hmm. This is not to put anybody down that don't want to be a business owner that loves bedside and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But for some people, it's like dying inside to have to go put in hours for somebody else's dream every day. Mm-hmm. Some people's dream is bedside, so we don't want y'all to think like we put you guys down in any type of way, shape, or form. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. If you're happy at the bedside, then that's all that really matters. But if you are unhappy at the bedside, then you got to do something about it. Exactly. And them taxes is coming, so invest <laughs> in yourself this year, says. Okay? Yeah. You and got to the- invest in yourself. And Latisha has a bunch of videos about nurse entrepreneurship. So like I said in the beginning of, it, of the video, y'all have to go check out her channel at Latisha Ann. I'm going to leave it somewhere up here. I'm going to leave it down in the description. I'm going to leave it everywhere so that you guys can go reach her. Go to her channel. Subscribe to her. She has some gems over there for you. You guys are missing out if you don't go check her out. And 
Is there anything else you want to add? I had a bunch of questions written down. We went through all of them, so. Did we? <laughs> I don't know. Did I answer everything? Sometimes I can go all the... I get so excited talking about this stuff. Sometimes yeah. I, can... <laughs> I, I thought the video would be longer, but we really, like, went through all of it. So, I don't know if yeah. you want to just freestyle for a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'm yeah, all I'm air. Sure you guys don't give up. You know, go after your dreams. Um, because when I had first started my medical spa... Um, they had changed a lot where I was at from that I, um, my MD can be reached by the phone mm -hmm. to the point that they have to physically be there. Mm -hmm. And the MD that I was collaborating with at the time, she couldn't be there because she had another full-time job. Mm -hmm. So I had to stop doing like half the services I offered because by state law, I had to collaborate with the MP. And then long story short, my friend that was a nurse practitioner, that's who I was just talking to before mm -hmm. that. She's a nurse practitioner. She ended up introducing me to this other nurse practitioner who actually had a medical spa um and me and her clicked but we came up with something where we could collaborate because like i told her I, if i want to work with somebody i would have been at the nursing home mm -hmm. so we basically collaborated with something um and yeah so anyways i said i like to say i was so devastated when that happened but i kept pushing because i knew what i wanted my dreams to become you know mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's something doesn't work out if a training class doesn't go the way you think it's going to go and you don't learn what you think the internet is there for you to research and google and stuff mm -hmm. um because leaving my first training microbiota class i did not know what i was doing i cut my sister in the eyebrow like but i'm just saying all i have to say to let you know keep going if this is something you really want to do you have to make your dreams come true <laughs> thank you so much for that thank you so much and I learned a lot. I'm definitely going to take the tips that you shared today and I'm going to try to put that in practice because I'm, I'm done. Like I said, I, I'm ready to be my own boss. It's 2020. And then your mom is an esthetician. She can teach you about all types of skincare and stuff. Yep, yep. She could teach me a lot. The only thing is, I, I don't know if she's allowed to give me the certification. Maybe. I don't know. I never asked her that. Well, you know what? The thing is, in... She might be in, like, in the, the States. I think that's what you guys call it, the States. Mm -hmm. So, in the States, a lot of the certifications, unless it's, like, Botox filler and stuff like that, it doesn't have to come from a particular person. Okay. Like, a lot of things, honestly, if you were to get online and go learn it, technically you wouldn't get a trouble by the state, but I do not suggest that because you could be messing somebody up just trying yeah. to learn something off YouTube. Mm -hmm. I say use YouTube it's extra education but um girl use your mom because then you ain't i have to get essence <laughs> books and study and stuff oh that is another question i get often how do you get the knowledge about the skin if you went because you know they don't teach us about skin mm -hmm. in nursing school mm -hmm. um just get esthetician books buy them offline um the esthetician study book call your local the local school in your city say hey what book do you use google that book and buy it and just research and study that book because that's what they do in the esthetician school because you have to teach yourself mm -hmm. basically the esthetician stuff because you didn't physically go to school for esthetician and skin and stuff like that yeah yeah all right so i'll definitely be looking into that once again, thank mm -hmm. you so much for sharing all that knowledge, all them gems with us. Thank you for giving us your time. We know you're a busy lady. You're a boss lady. Trying to be like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and once again, guys, go subscribe to Latasha Ann's channel. I will leave the link to her YouTube channel down below. Okay. Thank you, Thank guys. you. Bye. I'll Bye. message you on Instagram. Bye.